Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is just going to be a really quick walkthrough on how to do advanced boss char running. Um, and what I mean by that is essentially um, supplementing a normal boss char run with a vanguard mission, meaning there are going to be more char in the Northlands, um, so you'll be able to pick off more char in one run and get more experience and it's just a lot more efficient to do it that way so um, i'm just going to give you a quick rundown of um, what that entails to give you a better idea so you can do it yourself so um yeah without further ado okay so i've just entered here and i'm going to summon my little mp let's just fast forward here at uh, this bit my imp didn't quite manage to get through the path without aggroing that patrol um group so I'm just helping my little imp out. I don't want it to die or anything. So that's that done. We'll carry on. So this is the first group that is part of the Vanguard mission. Um, these guys wouldn't normally be here if I hadn't activated that mission. I think it's Footman Tate. You can see actually just here, um, as I point my character towards it, that's where the bosses are, that's where the shrine is. That's where I normally head straight away, but um, I'm actually just going to take a detour right now and go around the outer side of this hill kind of structure um, because there's a few more extra uh, char groups that I can pick off before heading to the shrine. Uh, and then if I could just continue over this hill, there's um, two more stalkers. Of course, you know, the spawns are random. It's not going to be two stalkers necessarily for you. And I'm just going to continue over to these um, fire coolers and take them out. So after that, I'm going to head back up the hill, um, which will link me up with this kind of area, which is just before the shrine. Uh, there's a, two more char here. Um, after they're taken out, I'm going to be able to just head right back over to the shrine where the actual four bosses are. Now, some people like to take out these bosses straight away and time their attacks so that they completely miss all of these patrolling groups. Um, I don't mind taking them out myself, even though I get zero experience from it. You can see just there that I had to step back, retreat for a little bit. Um, my health was getting a little too low. It was a little dangerous. I'm actually going for the survivor title as well, so I don't want to take any risks. I can finish off those two Axe Fiends, I believe they were, or uh, Blade Storms, uh, one of the two. I just need to pick off a few more of these char groups. Uh, there's another patrol squad just over here, which I'm just going to get rid of. Uh, I can wait for it to leave, like I said, but um, I don't know. I like doing it. <laughs> uh, okay, so after that is done, now I'm going to go ahead and take out Jaw Smokeskin. Um, he's the easiest. He's right at the front, so I'm just going to take him out, I think. Um, the monk boss heals him a little bit, but I, I managed to overcome it. Um, after that, there's one more uh, blade storm down there, which I'm just going to take out. And now I'm just going to take out the remaining three bosses. These last two are pretty easy. They're down in like five seconds. So I realized at this point that the cliff face was actually protecting me very well from the stalker. It just reduces uh, damage per second a lot and just, just makes it a lot easier. The char are too stupid in pre-searing to um, move away from firestorms and also to reposition themselves if their projectiles are obstructed. So after this um, I'm just going to head straight down past the shrine onto the deeper areas of the Northlands where there are two more here. Some Grawler attacking the Char here which come in handy because while the Char are distracted I can attack them as well. Um, and now there's, there's just a few more groups really. All together I think there are just short of 20 extra char in the Northlands for this Footman Tate Vanguard quest. So it, it really does up the experience you get per uh, char run. 
So I highly recommend this strategy. This bit I found quite funny actually. The last few shots this fire cooler threw at me, I managed to successfully just dodge each and every one of them while um, uh, attacking him. Uh, I just thought it was quite funny, pretty much just trolling the game at this point. Another Axe Fiend and another fire cooler there. Uh, and now we're on to the very last section, which is a little bit of a runaway, so I'm just going to speed it up. There we go, pick up a red iris flower. Very nice. Um, and yeah, there's uh, two more here. The default groups that are in this area don't give me any experience, so I won't want to deal with them unless I have to. Um, this front group I'm going to have to get rid of in order to get to the final extra vanguard group uh, through those doors there, through the gate there. Um, so yeah, that's that default group out of the way. There's one more uh, vanguard group through here. There's the fire caller and the stalker, I believe. Dodge that firestorm, take out the stalker, and we're done. That default group I don't care about. Um, it will give me no experience. So yeah, that's pretty much my strategy for um, increasing my experience per run. Um, this is great because you don't even have to go find Footman Tate. You can just go around taking advantage of these extra char and never actually cashing in the um, quest with Lieutenant Langmar until, until you want to. You just leave it open indefinitely. So um, yeah, it's, good. it's a good little strategy. So um, I hope you found this useful and um, thanks very much.